Hey guys, my name is Sidiac and welcome back to the episode of Man of Lords where, oh my goodness me, last episode, last episode was a wild ride. Not only did I get attacked multiple times, um, my village kind of got destroyed multiple times and had to rebuild it, but um, I accidentally declared war. And I, when I say it was an accident, I really do mean it was an accident. But last episode, we managed to kind of win the war. I'm still not sure what's going on right now, but I'm at the battlefield location. I defeat everybody and days remaining 61. So <laughs> I don't know what to do anymore, boys. I don't know what to do anymore. So I've got to respond to the correspondence, which I don't know where this correspondence is. Respond to the letter. Uh, Hayden Van uh, Buren wrote, I don't know where the letter is. I don't know how I respond to it. I don't know where I see it right now. I don't know where I see it. I'm about to make another payment soon in one day because I've got some mercenaries. Um, I kind of don't know what I need to do next <laughs> to respond to this letter. Uh, no idea, boys. No idea. But we'll see what happens. I won the war. If they want to fight me again, I'm not ready. <laughs> <laughs> but welcome back boys today we're going to try and continue the expansions i'm winning the war um uh, we've currently have a goal right now to get seven more level three burgage plots and we managed to do it because we also built the tavern now the downside to the tavern is we need a malt house which is just here to produce the malt then we have our brewery over here which then produces the beer or the ale i'm not quite sure what it is right now is it ale it is ale, yes. Uh, but I need ale to give these guys the tavern supply to level up the houses, which are currently level two to level three. Now, we need to grow more barley. Barley is quite difficult because we're not in the best regions for farming. We currently have some wheat growing there. We've got wheat. We've got wheat. We've got barley, which is... Oh, it's actually within harvest season right now. So we actually might start getting some. And we got some wheat coming in as well. Now, when do we have more barley coming in? Is this the only barley farm that I've currently got? It is, which is probably not a good idea, but keep an eye on that, boys. As soon as we get the supply, we're going to start upgrading more and more houses. Now, we have a generic storage is full situation. It normally is the saw pit because uh, it has logs already in. Uh, we've got free construction workers currently available. Things are going okay, but I do get slightly nervous at times. <laughs> Well, we got a large storehouse as well. I probably need to kind of add more people to these buildings so we can um, distribute more goods a lot quickly. Uh, we are getting more people coming in, but I do want to build more and more stuff. Fan members are joining, which are going to all of our cobbler shops and tailor shops, which is really good. So we get more potential workers within there. And oh, what's this here right now? Bodies need to be buried. Didn't we start building? Yes, the corpse pit, which I'm going to... Oh, there we go. New message. Um... I can make it worthwhile if you drop all your claims. Uh, I'm going to write back. And uh, all my claims, what does that mean? My claims are non-negotiable. Um, we can end this squabble for a small payment. Ooh! Am I, do I be demanding? <laughs> um, how do I send this? No opposite place. How do I send this? No influence cost. Um, I can't type. What do I do? <laughs> Offers peace and abandoning all claims towards the receptionist regions in return for treasury. Declaration, I can't do nothing. Uh, can I even respond to this? No influence costs. I would draw my claims for a price. How do I respond to all of this? It says drop a paragraph here, but I can't type anything. What do I do? do? Who am I attacking? <laughs> Sir, I don't know what you want me to do right now. I can't seem to respond to you. So we continue. We continue, boys. Um, there's probably a way I can do it, but I have no idea what's going on even more right now. Now, like the last time we had a big war, all of a sudden we've got like a bunch of people moving in. Uh, family members keep joining uh, one of our settlers. There's more people coming in right now. I've got 204 people in here and it's just keep adding adding and adding on i've got so many bodies that i need to now bury but don't worry i've dug a hole in the ground where i'm going to put them all that is just so grim it is so grim right now 
Right, so we're waiting for the tavern to get what it needs, but we need stuff in the malt house, which means we are now yielding barley. It's not a lot of barley, but we're definitely yielding some. Now, we don't have any in the farmhouse, but I'm assuming it's been... No, it's not even been taken directly to the malt house just yet. But as soon as I see it producing ale, we shall um, upgrade houses. Or at least try to. At least try to. My influence has increased. See, boys? I mean business right now. I mean business. Right, now can I drop a paragraph? Influence. I still... I can't send anything. How do I even type? I, I, there's nothing I can even do here. I can't respond to this, dude, if I wanted to. Oh, you drag and drop! Well, they didn't tell me that, did they? They didn't tell me that. Right, okay, so... Let's see what I can do. Um, I may withdraw my claims for such a price. We can end this scrubble for a small payment. I may withdraw my claims for a small price. Send. I've sent a letter. Oh, wait, did he pay? Treasury change registered. Did he pay me? That means I can then get rid of these guys, right? I'm assuming so. Um, right, army. H who is... Oh, I've got so many that are not mine. Actually, you know what? I don't have that many. Um, right, how do I get rid of you now? Disband unit. These are all my military. So if I make all these guys go back to work, how do I do that? Disband unit. Return to your daily lives. Thank you. We won the war, boys. We won the battle and we won the war. Yeah, they'll think twice about coming at your boy next time, won't they? Right, I need to try and build some more barley fields because it is something that's going to stop me um, progressing the houses. Now, barley fertility is not great. Remember, it's actually okay there, but I'm nowhere near it. I really need to kind of take over another claim. But I think I need quite a bit more influence to kind of do it. Now, this is orange. It's probably the best I'm going to get. So, I might just need to suck this up. Right, if I go to... Can I stay where drink? Here. No, cancel that one. There. To there. As an additional farm. And then we'll pick this to be barley. It's not great, guys. It's not great. Barley again. And then we'll, we'll do uh, fallow. Right, multiple farms right now. Do your growing. So, we got malt coming in. We haven't got anything in the... In the tavern just yet. These guys should be producing... Yeah, there's some ale there. As soon as this gets the supply, which it does... Pause for a second. Because it now has a supply, which I can upgrade this to level 3. I can not upgrade this level 3. It doesn't have the food. Damn it. <laughs> Do you? You do. Level 3. Bam. Anyone else can be level 3? Uh, oh, these upgrade to level 2. Oh, I haven't even upgraded these to level 2 yet. Level 2. Level 2. Not to level 3 because it doesn't have the food stall supply. Right. Okay. So, if these don't have the food stall supply, I'm going to see if I can get these guys... If I build some houses here, maybe? Um, right. Upgrade to level 2. There's a lot of upgrading I now need to do to these houses. So we'll try and do it step by step and just see how far we can get. So I might run out of the ale before these are all upgraded. But at least a couple of houses will become level 3 anyway. So that's going to be a big bonus for your boy. Um... I'm going to try... No, I'm not going to do another construction. I'll wait till I've got some more available construction workers and see how we get on. Did they bury the bodies? Do I even want to zoom into this? I don't think I want to zoom into this. Oh, winter is approaching. So this is a good point right now to see if i got enough fuel. Um, I do for six months. And we got enough food for five months as well. So that sounds pretty good to me. We should be producing... I was going to hope that we're going to be producing flour. We have a lot of wheat, so once the dude turns up to work right now, we'll start producing flour. And then our communal oven, which I always forget where I put this stuff. 
will then be able to start producing bread. So that will kind of keep us going through the winter. Now, I do have a, a kind of like development point I can kind of utilize. I'm just not 100% sure on what to kind of, or what road to go down with. All right, the granary is okay. Generic storage. Is this the stonecutter camp? Yeah, there's a lot of stone there, isn't there? But I will need it. I will need it. So, you kind of have to suck it up, boys. You kind of have to suck it up right now. Um, right, the house is upgraded to level 3, which is absolutely amazing. Uh, this can't be because of the food stall. It needs at least three types of food nearby. Now, that could be down to the fact that... What's this? If I moved you to... Oh, what have I done? See, moving stuff can be also a bit of an issue because it then takes away elsewhere. So you got to kind of plan this all out really, really well. We've got to plan this all out really, really well. Now, food stall here. This doesn't really do anything. That one does carry a lot of different variations of food. But if I move it, will it then move the food? I'm still not 100% sure what the best way to go about doing all of this. So I'm going to put you just there in the hopes that that will kind of spread over in that direction. But I don't know if it moves the food. You know what I mean? I'll wait for this to be built. See, it doesn't technically move the food. So, okay, it is putting some food over here now. But it's not enough to do anything for these guys. This is why we need more variations of food. <laughs> um, there's only one in there. One type. There's a lot of empty food stalls in general. So, it's a bit of a tough one, that is. It is a bit of a tough one. Which, I could build some houses closer. Because if this get if this is within the radius, then if I built some houses here, I could maybe upgrade them. But I've also got to upgrade them to like, you know, level two to before I can get to level three. So I reckon it'll just be a slow process. But we'll eventually get it all done. So pantry's full. Generic, right, sweet, sweet, sweet. It's getting cold. Mercenaries available. Very good, very good. I did rebuild my uh, manor house last episode because it got burnt down and destroyed, and I didn't even realize it did, and I forgot to rebuild it. And I was claiming no taxes, but we've managed to get back onto it. Uh, we have to start kind of creating more stuff. Now, where is the bloomery here? Are you guys producing? So these guys should be producing iron slabs, right? Yes. Now, is it the smithy that also uses iron slabs? I'm going to get rid of the workers for the iron um, for the smithy right now to no longer produce any more tools because at the minute we kind of have a lot of tools. And we're going to use those iron slabs to keep producing weapons and such. Because we're going to need them in case we eventually want to start claiming other areas and go to war again. <laughs> um, so where would I spend my points then? My one point. I could go down the road of advanced armor making or deep mining. I could look towards more of the farming aspect and get honey. Actually, that's a really good idea. Either honey, trapping increases the amount of meat you can maybe get, but honey, it gives us another food variation, which will be really, really exciting. Also something I can also export for hopefully a high value. I've gone down the honey route, boys. I've gone down the honey route now for beekeeping. So, where does this come under? Is it gathering? Honey. Now, Workers collect honey. Every region can sustain up to two apiaries by default. Placing more will not increase the yield. So I can only do two at max. So where would I place these? I, I feel like I, I should place them over here. Not enough goods. Oh, do I have any planks? Plan I have five planks. Wait, I have five planks. What are you talking about? I have enough. Right. One there. And then I will do another one. Um, not enough goods for that. Yeah, you're right. Not enough goods. Right, we'll do one to begin with because I also don't have enough workers for all of these buildings. So we'll see how we get on. So now, no tavern supply now. That's now all gone. Still waiting for these burgage plots to be upgraded. And they need wood. Are the oxens okay? Oh, we've got stable space here. Let's hire another oxen. 
We're just replacing the ones that died. The ones that got oofed. Sad times. Sad times. So we are upgrading a bunch of houses right now. We've got 35 burgage plots at level 1, 14 at level 2, and 5 at level 3. So we'll keep trying to push that a bit forward. Um, Alright, no one's homeless, are they? Everyone okay? Oh. They're not happy with me. Because they're cold. Guys, I, I, you have a lot of fuel. But it could be the houses that are not within the fuel radius, right? Yeah, there's no fuel supply over here. Now, I did have a market over there. Um, we are going to move some stuff. So, let's move a food stall over here. Okay. We'll move a firewood stall over here. There we go. And we'll also move a cloven stall over there. Now, is there any other variation of stall? Oh, rubble there. Um, no, those are the free, right? Those are the free. But it's not to say that they're going to place any goods in there whatsoever. But if we can get some goods over there, then that is a huge benefit for us. Huge benefit for us. Um, all right, any, any goods stored? Carrots. A bit of firewood and some clothing. Um, what does it do to these guys? Nothing. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. But give it time. You never know what happens. You never know what could happen. Right, so where are we at then? Uh, we, we're trying to get through winter at the minute. I'm not a big fan of the winter in the game. We are upgrading these houses. The brewery is being upgraded, but needs a few more things before we go to the next level. These are all level three. But the tavern supply is not fulfilled at the minute. Understandable. We have no malt because we have no barley. Yeah. Um, can't grow any food or anything like that. There's a lot of people over here chilling. What are you guys doing? They're miners waiting. Waiting for what? Why are these guys all waiting right now? Cobbler going home. Are they just chilling? Are they just frolicking, as they say? Is that what they're doing? No idea. No idea what they're doing right now. Now, where is the woodcutter's lodge? We've got a lot of fuel. We do have a lot of fuel. So I don't think we need to be worried too much. We are upgrading our burgage plots even more. Oh, did they build the honey place? The uh, apiary? Yes. So let's get a worker in there. And then we'll start hopefully producing some honey. Now, right. Let's figure out. Are we producing weapons yet? We're not producing any weapons. What's going on now? Do you have many? Uh... No. Where, where do they produce the iron slabs? Is it the clay furnace? No, that produces clay tiles. That is not iron, Sonia. It's the bloomery. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Need your fuel in. Let's put a minimum in there. Fueled. So will they then start producing? Charcoal. Iron ore. It's now being worked. Iron slab. There we go. There we go. So hopefully that will then be passed on to start producing in the blacksmith tools and stuff. Right, okay, okay. Um, pantry's full. New policies available. I got 1.4k in influence. You need like 2k to kind of like take over a region. Which I'm instantly going to take over this one because the farming land for it. That would be amazing. That would be amazing. Now, these don't have the food supply. I think I've like moved stuff so much that we're no longer getting the goods. That has three variations of food, so what are you talking about? You have the supply. So don't even lie. <laughs> okay, so these all got upgraded, right? They did. They got upgraded. These cannot be upgraded. These, oh, these could be upgraded to level two. So, let's see how far I can upgrade these, if I can upgrade all of these. No, I couldn't. I can only upgrade that one. Your level one, your level one. Can't upgrade these. 
can't upgrade them because of the food store. We needed two types of food. Let's rebuild these rubber ones. And the marketplace in general, you can see the food variety, what it offers these guys. It doesn't do the full shebang, does it? It does clothing well, fuel well, food variety not so well. Kind of annoying. It is kind of annoying. Um, right, so, are we still not put I feel like I need to kind of create some more blacksmiths or something. Because they're trying to produce swords. They need iron slabs. Right, where are my iron slabs going? These are planks. So, joinery. Planks. We have the armor shop. Ah, it's going here as well. So, we kind of need to produce more iron slabs. So, I'll get a second worker in there. And let's build a couple of burgage plots just here. So, hit there to there. These are only be small, so they'll kind of be more like armory stuff and whatnot. And we'll go with four or three. Let's go with four. And just get them built. Right, good stuff. Very good stuff, boys. Very good stuff. Okay. So, tavern, not got anything there. Nothing in here. Do we produce all the flour? I'm assuming we produced a lot of flour, right? We must have done them at some point for the communal oven. To do, produce a bunch of bread. Uh, we probably used it all. So the next harvest of barley is 120 odd days. Oh man, I really just don't like the area that I'm in for farming. It is a little bit of a shambles, isn't it? It really is. I mean, could I trade and import? Barley, I could. So import barley. And let's import 20. I can establish a trade route, but I don't know if I want to. Probably only like to export, maybe. But uh do we just get some barley in? We've got 10. It's very expensive, isn't it? It is very expensive. But that should hopefully produce some molten and eventually go on to ale. Are they going to grab the barley now? Where are they going with it? Yeah, bit of barley. Produce some malt, and hopefully then it'll produce some ale. Um, but a lot of the houses aren't still within the vicinity. Now, can we upgrade these straight away? Upgrade you. Upgrading these puppies straight away. Upgrade. Straight to level two. And we might have a good chance of maybe these two being level three. So that would be a good good thing for us. Stop. Where are these? Stop moving. Supplies. Why are you in the open? Do I need another storehouse nearby or something? Uh, Tiff paid goods given away. Treasury. Wait, what? I'm not sure what that what was all that was on about then. Why right, is this built and be upgraded? So tear through all of this. Okay, so did we get? Yeah, we got ale. Now I'm gonna pause it for just a minute while we've got it. We've got the tavern supply, but we don't have the food. The, the three types of food. No. Um. No. No. Oh, you're level one. I can upgrade you. Might as well. You're level one. I can upgrade you. No, no, no. Oh, it's a sad day, isn't it, boys? It's a sad day. Oh, that's so annoying. It's so annoying, isn't it?
Like, give these guys something. I mean, we could get it because we could. We need like a little bit more meat. Do you reckon this is just way too big? It could be that this is just way too big for the marketplace. For such a central location. Um, right. Any of these built yet? This will be the first one to get built. But it needs more wood coming over. We got a lot of wood, right? Yeah. We do. Are we producing tools? Weapons? Ah, we got a little bit of spears. I won't say we've got many weapons. That's actually uh, done. It's got the tavern supply, but it doesn't have the additional food supply. But then again, these don't. But they need four. They have the three, though. So this one could work out well. But they haven't got the tavern supply now. It's a, it's a balance, isn't it? It's a fine art you've got to balance it with four. All right, got the tavern supply. Haven't got the food store supply. All right, what is it? This is about to be finished. Haven't got the third food supply. Weirdly enough, these guys do have the third supply. But I don't have enough wealth. Oh, that's annoying. I could have... Are they level two? They are. Oh my goodness me. Right, stop with the trading. Uh, stop exporting planks. How many have I got? Zero. Stop importing that. I'm going to export some stone. Um, I seem to have a lot of firewood. But I'm going to hold on to it. Iron ore I'm keeping. Small... Oh, I can't export weapon. Right. Um, let's go. Let's try and export some stone. Did I have it set on the right trade? Right, export some stone for me, please. Right, I've got 50 in the treasury. But I don't have any wooden planks. Right, where is the... Saw pit? I've got five wooden planks there. Can I now utilize... No, I need eight. I need eight wooden planks. Oh, apparently I have zero. That's annoying because I'm, I'm good to go. But it's something else that I didn't quite... Right, construction reserve. Let's up that number. I need planks. We've got two planks. Wait, hold on. That's the woodcutters. I'm looking at the wrong thing, aren't I? I might need a... S oh, five, but... It's still not enough. I might need another saw pit. For what I've got currently going on. Because I'm also using it for... Building stuff as well. So... Right... This is getting interesting. This is getting very... Oh, no, I've got a second saw pit. Oh, dear God. Beta Raiders is, is seen near here. <gasps> okay. Army. Army, boys. Right, let's... let's rally here. Rally here. Rally here. Rally here. Now, how many is there? Oh, I should be able to take the... Oh, no, there's going to be more. I should be able to take these guys on? I should be able to take these guys on. Oh. St Wait, hold on. Are they coming from all angles?
Annoyingly, I think they are. Where are they? Okay, here they are. So, pause for a second. We've got... Yeah, let's just let's all go for them. They're, they're running, which is reducing my effectiveness. Right, you go this way, you go that way. No, you fight them. You go for them. You get the side. No, no, where are you going? You go this way. You get them. Right. This is war, baby. This is war. Destroy them. Destroy them. <laughs> right, we do have home advantage. Now, there was more, wasn't there? Yeah, there's another bunch over there walking really slowly. Right, I'm now well versed in war. I'm hoping we're going to be okay. Oh, influence gained. I think some of them just ran off. Here come the next wave. Am I okay? We've broken them, boys. We've broken them. Now, they haven't destroyed anything, have they? I don't believe they have. But we're also still fighting. Are we still fighting a dude? No, I think we're done. So we won. We've uh, oh we've oh my goodness me we've we've got so much influence. <laughs> Do I then claim a region? <laughs> oh no no okay right hold on shut up for a minute I need more planks. So the planks aren't planking. Um, fine. We've got these houses where I can't upgrade. How, right, I want to claim a place. Claim of influence. Now, by claiming it, right, I'm going to get access to another stone deposit, another clay deposit, another iron deposit, more berries, and more wild animals. There is two bandit camps here, though, and it will mean that I'll have to set up a uh, smaller community within, which is not a problem. It would have been cool if I could build a community on the edge here. I'm not rerouting this, don't worry. But then it's so you can trade the goods so much easier. <laughs> um, okay, so my concern is though, if I do go and try to take over it, I'll move these guys just here. Um, I'm gonna have to have a full-on all-out blown war, which probably would mean I need some mercenaries. I don't know how well I'm going to be prepared for it. I don't have enough weapons. And I don't know if this is going to be a good idea if I go to war now. But it would solve a lot of my issues. It would solve a lot of my issues. Now, we have vast amounts of shields and stuff. So in the joinery here, where they are producing shields, how do I tell them can you not produce stuff please how do I tell them this I'm not sure how you make them stop producing those goods because <laughs> I, I located um, more wood please and I don't have enough unassigned people Right, they've just had a war, so let's just disband the units to begin with, and let's just recuperate. I'm not going to have another war after another war. I don't know if I just, if I claim the land and it instantly becomes mine, or if I have to fight for it with the influence. I'm not too sure, but let's kind of gear up for it as if I think I'm going to have a war. Uh, we got a, a bunch of bodies that need buried as well. Not my bodies, the enemy's bodies, guys, the enemy's bodies. 
And it's so annoying that I just don't have the planks. It is so annoying. So we've got nobody in the smithy right now, which is good. I'm going to get rid of one of the woodcutters and put them on here. So we're hopefully producing more planks. We've got one over there. And I've only got two available. I need these planks pronto. Uh, where's the... Oh, there it is. A small stable. I've got two of two in there. Oh, I've got a third saw pit. I've just realized I've got three of them. And I still can't produce enough. I'm just wondering if I need more, like, oxen to distribute the goods. I've just ordered another oxen. Ten planks. Please. Oh, you're joking me! <laughs> right when I'm ready, I have no tavern supply. You can't make this up, boys. You can't make this up. Right, harvest is coming in the next ten days. <laughs> you gotta laugh, boys. You've gotta laugh. Even these guys have got it as well. Oh, that's annoying. They've got the food supply. Right, so. Barley is here. Oh, no, this is a fallow season. This is the barley here we're about to now harvest in ten days, I believe. Five days at this point. We're going to harvest that in five days. It's going to be ready in five days. Um, it's not going to be a great yield. I think we planted it too late in the season for it to grow. Um, I might just trade in some barley. Ten. i wait for that to be imported. Because it might help me speed up the process. Also, how's the honey? We have no honey. Of course we don't. Of course we don't. We are, I think we are producing honey. We're just selling it like straight away. Makes sense. It does make sense. I can build a second one as well. We do have the ability to do that. Now, we've only got four planks, so I don't have enough planks even if I wanted to upgrade some stuff. Right, are we going to import some barley? Oh, there we go. Did we? No, yeah, there we go. We've imported barley. We've imported barley, boys. Uh, we just need more s s soaring of the stuffs. Um, so let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Right, the tavern's got what it needs. I just don't have the planks. So the tavern should get what it needs for, for some time now. If I do no trade on that. I'm now just waiting for the planks. I got five planks. 10 planks. Okay, so we'll upgrade. Wait, what? What do you mean requirements not met? No, don't do this to me. Oh, wait, do I need to upgrade the living space? Oh, you're joking. Um, residential requirements will increase. Burger split generates two more. What, what don't... Is it enough cash? I've got enough cash. I've got enough logs for... Planks, A. Clay tiles. I don't need to upgrade it, do I? Oh, do I need to give them like a... Um, like something here? Right, if I do... No, because these guys have got, like, vegetables. It's got to be this, isn't it? Right, if that turns out to be what the issue is... 
We'll get this done first, just in case. It's not very clear, is it? No free bags, parts generate, uh, uh, required to rise settlement level, adds livered space, one extra family, two. Oh, no, there you go. It could be done. So what are you talking about? What are you talking about, boys? It was nothing to do with that, then. Five. Three. That's just been leveled up. Four. Three. So that would be number six, wouldn't it? It means I need four more after this. I need four more. Right, so. Have we got enough fuel? I think I'll slow down on the uh, firewood for a minute. We've got two in there. We'll put two in this one as well. Hopefully produce more planks. And see how we get on. So five planks. Three, and it's all gone. I mean, it's, it's now when I need it more than ever. Eight. Oh, I had, and now I have six. Ten. Boys, I have ten planks. I had 10 planks. Can you guys stop producing, like, and using my wood? I would greatly appreciate it. I would greatly appreciate it if you stop using my wood. I don't want to import. I mean, I could import, but I, you also need the money. And now the tavern supply is gone. It's a pain, isn't it? It is a pain. But... Uh, what can I do here to, like, improve this? I've got a livestock assigned there. I've permanently assigned a livestock to that one. I've permanently assigned a livestock to that one. Did it take away from my current oxens? I'm not sure. But I wonder if that will increase, because I then have assignments for it. It will increase the amount that we uh, get. I'm not. I'm not sure. It's it's completely new to me. It's completely new new to me. Right. Okay. Oh, I had a quite a nice little chunk of um, wood there, but nothing matters because I don't have barley. Now, we're not going to be producing barley anytime soon there. This is going to start producing barley in this field this time round, so we have to grow all that again. Uh, I could import it. Not a problem with the importing. But it's... Oh, 20 planks. It's timing the import right with... with having enough planks. 18 planks. I never had so many planks. But the problem is that right now, we're going into the negative with the food supply as well. It's summertime where it works out the best. Right. No more trade on the input on this now. No trade, please. No trade. And... Let's try and get out of winter one more time. So what could these houses do for us? What could I make them do? Orchard is... Oh, goats for hides. 
Taylor stuff, a bakery extension. Oh, they produce... So I won't need a communal oven? But then I, need, I, I mean, you need so much wheat, though. Uh, Bury extension, joinery, blacksmith. Are we producing tools? We're producing spears over everything. Goat produces hides. I think I'll hold out a moment until we get the ability to choose it. Right. Oh, there we go. Level up. Nice. Can't level up you. Oh, I could level up you, but I don't have the planks. Right, give me the planks, boys. Give me the planks. We're doing well. We're getting somewhere. Bam. There's another one. Now, these guys have the ability to be upgraded as well. I think assigning, a, like, a livestock has also kind of helped us out in kind of bringing us more goods. Which means they do have the ability to kind of produce more planks. But it's just timing it right. That is what it's all about, is timing it just right. Twos and ones. I also have the ability to select somebody else up there. Ten. Right, the supply is dwindling now, by the way. But I managed to get one more done. I've lost track right now of how many I can now upgrade, but I've, I've lost all my food supplies and all that kind of stuff. So you ain't getting... Well, I need, because the food stall supply is not there. So how many have I got? I've got seven so far. I'm not sure how... Two, I'm, oh, I need one more! I need one more. I think it, when we upgrade as well, we'll do orchard stuff. Because that will give me another food supply. Yeah, it's... Uh, not going to happen now, but I've managed to get nine. I've managed to get nine out of it. So that produced a bunch of planks anyway. Very good for us. Very good for us. And... Producing the iron slabs... Should we now try and claim? Should I go for the big boy claim? Should I put my big boy pants on right now and see if I can claim? <laughs> oh, good God. The only thing I don't like, though, is if I do claim and build over here, which obviously this is the perfect location for it. There's a destroyed windmill, by the way. Whose is this? A granary. This definitely used to be a farming area. Um... The downside is, it's quite some distance. So if I if war comes in and they come over here, I've got to travel quite far. It's almost like it would be ideal if you could have this as your whole starting point, build a massive town, and then smaller communities just on the re region of it. So anything goes down, you can kind of run to it. But it is what it is. Right, so we're going to claim it, but let me just double check my army. I do have a full spout of them right now. If I was to create new units, I've got enough for spearmen. Can I not create any more? No. So I've got a load for spearmen here. I'm missing fools over here. You can customize these guys as well. How do you get more of these? Oh, oh, spend 50. Did this come out of our treasury? I've hired one dude. When he says comes out of our treasury, it means... Up here, right? Yeah, treasury up there. Okay, right, okay. I feel like I've got a lot of dudes. I could hire some if I need to. So let's try and claim... What's this place over here? 
Walled brand. So claim of influence. Uh, press claim towards this region. Yes. So we're going to need to take an army over there, aren't we? We really are. So army. Uh, rally here. Rally here. Rally here. Rally there. Rally there. I'm not gonna. There's only one in that one, so I'm not going to do anything to that one. Um, and let's get some mercenaries. Let's hire this company. Sign the contract. I'm going all out. I am going to go all out. And we're going to bring these guys over. They're coming from over here, aren't they? So if I get them to first get there, get there, and then we'll walk over. Right. So let me just get my dudes over here. All good to go. The gauntlet has been thrown. This terrifies me. Enemies declared. Oh, good God. Right. There is also a bandit camp over here. So I'm going to bring these guys just there. Right. Walk to position to save your energy. And this is the battle. That's perfect. That's where the battleground is. That's amazing. That's amazing. Okay. Fast forward then, because I'm going to fully... There's my dudes walking over from there. I'm going to fully expect enemies' units have been spotted. And I'm assuming they're walking that way as well. Oh, don't start turning. Yeah, they're heading that way as well. So that's where the enemy... Can I defeat these? Hold on. There's 30... Oh my goodness me, there's 36, 36, 36. Right, this is going to be interesting. This is going to be interesting. So they're there. We're only going to here. So I'm going to bring these guys... Just up to there instead. Now, I do have archers, but they also have archers as well. My archers are coming down in just a moment. We're now within the... F this is going to be a war and a half. Right. They're now within the region, so I'm going to sort my dudes out. So, archers... You guys just get here. Right. And then we need... Where's the army again? Sorry. We've got spear dudes. You get there. You get here. You get there. So I'm spreading everybody out. Is what I'm doing. Okay. Spread everybody out. Here they are. Oh, this is going to be crazy. My archers are coming in a little bit later. And there's no mercenaries available right now. So this is my army. For, how many have they got, by the way? They've got 36, 36, 36, 36. Oh, God. So that's 30, 60, 90, 120. 150. Oh, God. That's a lot of people they've got. Well, I've got 36, 36, 36, and then a lot of little ones. <laughs> right, where are they? I'm hoping my archers can get over here in time. So this is the battle now, boys. This is the battle. This is the battle. So let's take my 36 in forward. And then these are archers. So let's bring these guys just to here. Actually, let me get army. One set of archers here. These guys just there. Ooh. All right, bring these back. This is going to be fun. This is going to be real fun right now. All right, trying to get them a little bit closer. Fire. 
Right, you guys attack them. And then you guys go for it. Right, we're attacking from that side. They're flanking us, which is really annoying. Oh, we've been flanked over there as well. So now we're going for it. You guys go into the side. We've got you guys, which... Yeah, you're them. They're flanking from that side. This is crazy. You guys get over here and then go in from this side. Are you guys attacking? Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Right, they've completely flanked me. Right, I'm now panicking. It's war, baby. It's war. Is anybody even attacking right now? I fi right, I, fi I don't really know what's quite going on. Oh, where are they going now? Guys, attack! Where are they now going? Right, are we winning this? I don't quite know if we're winning this or not. The battle is in progress. Oh, I think we're winning, guys. We've broken them. Right. We've got a message. We've still got to fight them. I can make it worthwhile if you drop all your claims. We're going to write back. Um, my claims are non-negotiable. Letter sent. My claims are non-negotiable. I mean war. I mean war. Alright, we've broken them. Victory is ours, baby! I have... My very, very... You can quickly cycle between your command by pressing T. Right, got it. I have claimed victory, boys. Now, there is a bandit camp over here, which we're going to go and take over. And just clear this real quick. But I have claimed victory, baby. Victory. So, in the map, this is now my area. Um, I require silver for my endeavors. We're going to close that. This is now my this is now my area. Oh my god. So I can rebuild this this windmill. We have a granary as well. Uh which is amazing. Let's just get rid of this bandit camp. Oh, we got a new message. Uh, when searching through the enemy belongings, you'll find a stash of goods they could send uh, 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 to your people who surely need them. Though it, it is right you keep it. Um, this belongs to my treasury now. Yeah. All right, that's that one done. There is another one over here as well. So walk up to that one. And then in the meantime, I'm going to rebuild these. And we're going to turn this here into a farming town, is what we're going to do. And hopefully we can bring the goods back down to here to supply this town. So what we'll do is, once we've got the farms over there established, we'll get rid of these farms, because this is not fertile land. This is no way, shape or form, fertile land. And, um, yeah. Interesting. I've got no food and I've got no fuel right now, so... It's because I've just had a war. <laughs> it's because I've just had a war right now. But we've got a lot we've got to get done. But on the plus side, we've got loads of planks. We do have loads of planks. So we'll quickly fast forward to see what we can get over here. So they're on the way over. New message. This now belongs to me. 
Very good. So we're going to select all of these and we are going to... Okay, I can't disband them. So we'll disband this unit. And these are all mine now, aren't they? Oh, no. Yeah, no. Um, I can't disband out of side of home region. So bring these guys back down to here. And then we'll eventually disband them. So we've claimed our first bit of land. Um, providing that we keep the money in the treasury. I can hire mercenaries, but we've got to work on getting more tools. But there is a bunch of resources up here. Um, but mainly, we are going to be creating a farming community. I don't want to put all my eggs into one basket, but it's going to go all over here. <laughs> yeah. We'll try and keep everything, you know, down here as well and this protected as much as we can. So we're going to siphon as much goods as we can from this region. And to see how it all goes down. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, smash that like button down below. And until next time, I'll see you all soon. So, goodbye.